Hi, so in this video I'm going to be showing you around my 3D setup and the main focus of this video is to show you the, the airtight cabinet that I've made for the 3D filaments. This cabinet's made out of IKEA woods, the, the type of uh, cheap wood that's used on the uh, chest of drawers and the wardrobes, so relatively cheap. Uh, the most expensive part is the Perspex door, the plexiglass door, which is 4 mil thick. It's got 3D printed hinges, which are made out of clear filament, and it's got the D Blow logo on them. I've just put two on there to stop the door from falling off when it's open. Unlike the cabinets that I've made for the for the figures, which you might have already seen before, them ones don't have hinges or handles, so I have to lift them off and put them to the side. So with this one, because I've got space, um, I put hinges on this so I can swing it open and not have to take it take it off and put it to the side. I also printed out this handle for it as well to make it a bit easier to open. Well anyway the inside of it is all sealed with magnetic strips so similar to a fridge they all run all the way around the inside of the door and the inside of the frame of the, the cabinet as well. So that performs a nice airtight seal. Any slight little gaps like I had there I filled in with, with sealer it's also sealed all around the inside of the strip just in case there were any little air gaps and also sealed it all the way around the inside of the cabinet itself. So the, se the seal is the same type of sealer that you get uh, that you use for bathrooms and kitchens and so on. So it's, it's done all the way around the inside as well on the joints. Um, on the top shelf here I've got my 3D printing pens and so on. I'll just change it to white so you can see it better. So yeah, I've got on top shelf there my 3D pens and a couple of benchmark boats. The 3D filaments, uh, the, the newest ones are uh, the Steadytech ones which are from box.co.uk. I should have a active free post code for them which I'll put in the description. It should be active on Monday I believe so I recommend checking it out, really good results with that filament. Um, down at the bottom here I've got a couple of the bench here, boats which is printed out in the different colours so I've got a reference to look at and I can check. They've all, they've all been printed at uh, the exact same print settings so I can compare them and check for colour colours before I decide to print, in a, print anything bigger. So that's the cabinet anyway, like I said if, if the if you're wanting to know more details on that, the size and spec and how to put it together and so on, I might do enough, uh, another video demonstrating that, uh, a little guide or something. If there's enough people interested in it, just drop a comment below. And if there's enough for you, then I'll, I'll crack on with a tutorial for how to build this up and keep your filaments nice and fresh. And then I'll just quickly show you around the rest of the shed what I've, what I've uh, been doing. So there's a couple of Iron Man masks which are in progress at the minute. This is the back of a Black Panther helmet, the black and gold one, so the, the bad guy helmet. Um, it's currently printing out a helmet at the minute, as you can see. It's just over halfway. It's quite a long print, this. I think it's going to be about 28 hours, maybe even 30. And then the printer itself, which is a CR10S, really good entry level. Um, printer. This this was also bought from box.co.uk. Uh, free delivery on that one. I think it was around about 399 at the time. Really decent. The only thing I've changed on this is I've put the uh, RGB lighting into the frame, and I've put the extra supports on here. Although it, it would okay without the supports, but um, as you do taller and taller prints this will help cut down on vibrations and so on. I'm also doing a time lapse of this print at the minute as you can see with GoPro so I'll be uploading that when this is finished printing out hopefully if nothing goes wrong. And then up the top here I'll just turn the light on so you can see a bit better. Up at the top a few of the prints that I've done recently some are unpainted still need work doing a couple of them I've painted. This is a latest one that I did. This one with a Steadytech Gold. As you can see that's come out really nice. 
that's a, a 0 0.2 layer height almost immaculate so if there's enough people wanting something like this for themselves and they need a step-by-step -step guide or the specifics for how I did this one the sizes and so on I'll do another video and I'll upload that just put a comment down below if you if you're interested and if there's enough of you interested in that then I'll, I'll do that as my next video uh, but for now anyway that's it and I'll see you in the next video